Hey, this is Kinshun with Kinshun Gaming. Here is a video of a skill build that I would use on my mage. So I don't usually play the mage much. Um, as you can see, my primary characters that I play are knight or warrior, paladin, and archer. But I'm gonna do. But I have played uh, mage in the past, so wanted to do a skill build um, for you guys so that you can have maybe have an idea of what skills to pick um, in terms of playing mage. So, without further ado, let's head on. So the skills of a, of a mage um, mainly used for her utility. As you can see, most of the pop, most popular uh, skill builds for the mage um, after the release of the Awakened characters and also the Busters and the Dark Soul keys uh, is the Salamander Curse used for utility. Uh, well, and what it does is it does damage to somebody one enemy um, and turn them to a lamb. As you increase the skill level of this skill, um, it increases the defense reduction, damage, and as well as it turns increases the chance of turning them to a lamb. Right up here, it's a 99% chance to turn enemies into a lamb. So this is really good for guild battles, really good for arena, and also for adventure. I would even say tower validation as well, but I haven't used that this skill or mage in general with the newer updates and content so can't really say that but that's what I would think in theory um, otherwise the mage has two different active skills for attack uh, flame burst and also meteor invocation out of these two the flame burst is a single target that does damage um, with cooldown um, and with the fire seal it inflicts additional damage and, in the, and this is the cool thing about this is where flame burst becomes a critical hit if you make a critical damage slash critical hit mage uh, the skill resets and you can recast it again so that's a real cool skill though it's only single target it's still a really useful skill in that respect meter of invocation well it's good it's a really good skill um, before the whole awakened and key characters and items are, were available pretty much destroyed everybody and anybody in guild war guild battle and arena but after the release of awakened characters and keys this skill hasn't been used all that much i mean at its maximum it does 17 11 um maximum on all da on all enemies and an additional this much damage for 16 seconds although it's immune to the spell I rather would just use this, and if it, it crits, it does more damage, you know, kills them faster. But on the whole, this th most of the players nowadays would use the mage for utility in terms of turning to machine. It really much disables all enemies from using any skills. Um, as far as passives, um, we have the int increase for you and your party. Uh, weapon attack and base attack increase for only yourself and also here is the flame study which increases critical rate and increases damage of flame burst and meteor invocation so if you are a offensive priest um, this would be a good passive to get I would first dump your skill points into these two first max them out of them and then dump any remaining skill points in here after if you've maxed everything so and that's for keyless mage um, Again, my preference for keyless mage would be using this skill tree just for its uh, utility purposes. You have other major characters and awakened characters that can deal a lot more damage than the mage at this stage in the game. And most, for the most part, you would equip a key to your mage anyway. So um, I would personally prefer this skill tree, although if you do choose between to go for offensive mage with active skills, I would choose the flame burst over the meteor. Um, again, personal preference, but there's other ways to build a mage, of course. And of course, if you're key less mage, I would dump all your passive skills and pass uh, skill points into your pass uh, awakened passives. These two as well to increase the damage of your key character. And if you have any points left, I would still dump it into sheep. And because, you know, if you still have that last ditch effort after your key is dead, you can always, you know, buy yourself some time in arena by 
um, disabling the rest of the team with Salamander's Curse. So that would be my preference, even with a keyed character. Again, I don't play the priest, uh, not the priest, I keep saying priest. I don't play the mage all that much, uh, but just seeing how other people have played mage in, in the past and also now, that's that's somewhat, I hope I can give you some insight as to what skills you may want to pick if you are playing the mage, um, as well as uh, what you could do um, if you had a second skill set as well if you want to go offensive mage as well just some insight and some opinions that i'd have um if you have any questions or anything about uh what made what uh build to go you can always comment down below and i'll try and answer them as much as i can but um that's it for today for the mage i'm just gonna pose for you over here <laughs> and burn something burn my dragon i guess Alright, thanks for uh, viewing this video. Um, if you like this video, please comment and, uh, comment and like and subscribe if you want to see similar videos similar to this one. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys later.